played us, hung us, lynched us, did every, did everything in the book, Esau, so-called white man. You overdid it, you know? You know, agree over die 18, man, you know? Over die 18, that's, that's your cutoff point, man, you know? Obadiah, it shows you the, the, the things you're doing, and it shows you what was about to happen to you, so-called devil, uh, so-called white people. You devil, you the devil of the Bible. The devil only means deceiver. He's the uh, he's under shatan. He's the ad adversary. All right, that's the Lord's enemy. You you crucified our Lord Yahweh Shai, put him on a, a the crucifix, and he, and he shed all that. He shed a lot of blood, man. You know, and, hey man, Lord you know, Lord have went through the affliction. The Lord Yahweh Shah is going to come back with great anger, man. He ain't speaking in that day. He's just going to shoot blazing beams, man. All right? It's going to be a so-called alien invasion. And that's coming to America. So he that lead into captivity, captivity shall go into captivity. You got us in mental captivity. He, he that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. So Israel, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you better repent. Turn back to the truth of the Bible. Because they preach it lies in your churches, all right? They're Hebrew Israelites, all right? They ain't going to tell you your true heritage. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. There is the patience, patience, and faith of the saints. So we're waiting on the Lord, man, all right? That's why nothing happened yet. But when the Lord start uh, turn on the destruction switch, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, adversity on every corner of earth, man. A bunch of destruction, a uh, bunch of shootings, and a bunch of... Uh, uh, chopping and all that dismembering. Oh man, it's gonna be at that. <laughs> you know, there's the patience of the faith of the saints and Psalms. Let me see Psalms. Let's go to Psalms 149. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto his, the Lord a new song. So this is when we get into the kingdom. We get changed up on the chariots, you know. We're going to get new bodies and study sinful flesh. Or, or always tired, you know. Always got to work out to keep yourself up. And, you know, uh, the food is poisonous. We got to we try to uh, navigate around the poisonous food and try to get organic food. And it's still not organic because it's still polluted because the earth is polluted. All right, you know, and the water is contaminated. We still we try to do our best. But the Lord said, um, to rehearse the righteous acts, you know, rehearse the righteous acts in a, in, a, in a strange land, you know, and we should be calling upon his name. And that's why we got to pray, you know, pray, ask for favor, ask for a uh, uh, favor of the Lord, ask for support. All right. Beg the Lord to uh, deliver us from this place, man. This place is full of wickedness. It says, praise, the, praise ye the Lord, say, sing unto him, the Sing unto the Lord a new song and his, pra his praise in the congregation. Um, let's jump down to verse 6. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth with the elect. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth. All right. And a two-edged sword in their hand. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Because we're going to bring those chains to you elites, man. We're going to bring those chains to you heathens, man. It says to execute judgment upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So you are going to be wearing the yoke of iron now to execute upon them judgment written. It is written is faithful and true. The, book, uh, the, the, the judgment that's coming for you heathens. All right. It's slavery. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So the Lord's about to do this. And. We want to get a few more, and we're going to close it. Oh, man. Uh, all right. So, the Lord have a heaven, hedge of protection over the elect. Angels angels watching over us and protecting us from all the way. Um, uh, Psalms 34 and 7, the angel Yahweh by Shemi Ashaya camp round about them that fear him and deliver them, deliver them from uh, wh whatever situ situation scenarios you get into. It says, "Old taste to see that the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him, not trusting in man. We, we put confidence in the, we put confidence in the Lord rather than men, and confidence in the Lord rather than princes. But those you other lying camps, man, you gotta look for your own glory." Uh, it says, oh, uh, uh, oh, fear the Lord, 
in his saints, and there is no want to them that fear him. And there's, uh, there's no want of any, uh, anything of this world that fear the Lord, man. You know, we don't want anything. We just want to get delivered. We want to be with Yahweh Shai, man. We want to, we want to uh, finally rest with our Lord, man. That's that's the ultimate goal. And um, let me see, Psalms 91. So in the day of calamity, the Lord is going to have angels protecting them. You know, at every given point. Psalms 91 is a good chapter to read. You know, um, Psalms 91, I'm looking for it. Psalms 91, verse 10, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So whatever that happens on, in Jacob's trouble, all these plagues that's being taken place, it ain't going to touch the men of the Lord. It says, For he shall give his angels, his messengers, charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. All right, so the Lord's going to send angels to protect us from all the, the calamity that's going to happen on America and other places like America. So the Lord hates America. The Lord's going to take it out. And this place got to go, man. You know, it's time for the kingdom of Israel to rise up. You know, we men are going to have spiritual power, man. So um, let me end it with one more and close the camp. Um, so the spiritual power is coming. And you people are going to be sore, sore afraid. All right. So it says, Psalms 110, verse 3, And thy people shall be willing in the day of thy powers, thy, uh, in the day of thy power and the beauty of holiness. From the womb of the morning, thou hast the doom of thy youth. So when you look, the of the power on us, that people are going to be uh, 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 so afraid, man. And um, Yahweh Shai said it best in Acts 1 and 8. He says, so when we get the whatever, even if we go to those concentration camps, whatever uh, our heads under the guillotine, our heads being chopped off or something like that, you know, it ain't gonna stop the Lord from destroying America, man. We're about to be kings, and we're gonna uh, uh, dwell in righteousness in the kingdom to come. So Acts one and eight, let's end it there. Um, but ye shall receive power. All right, so some of the men of the Lord is gonna receive power of the Lord, man. You know. And we're going to show that power off of Yahweh Bashim and Hashem. We're going to thank him greatly. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When the Holy Ghost come upon you, that's spiritual power, man. All right? But we have the, the, the we have the, the Holy Ghost of the understanding of the word. Because the Christian churches ain't teaching you shit. They're only teaching you your own demise, man. It says, Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all of Judea. And women love power, right? They love uh, 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 they love power and security. The men of the Lord is going to have that power and security. All right? Those, those Christian churches is lying to y'all, man. So when the Lord bestowed that power upon the men of the Lord, that's when uh, uh, you women are going to try to... But we're going to see we're gonna see through y'all because the Lord is going to give us that... that we are discerning y'all now, but he's going to give us that ultimate discernment, all right, to see whether you're good or not, all right? So that's why it's important. The men of the Lord is important, all right? The Lord said he's going to make us more precious than fine gold. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and all of Judea, and in Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. In the uttermost part of the earth. So, hey, y'all going to see, you're going to shine out, man. So that's your how shy words. And, um, covert. Just to show you how precious a man is going to be in that day. Um. Isaiah 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of a water in a dry place, and as the shadow of a great rock in the weary land. And the eyes of them sh that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them shall that hear shall hearken. So you women going to, you know. We are really looking for sincere women that's trying to be with us, man. We ain't dealing with no uh 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 you 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 uh fatrinas and and, and uh, uh Caitlyn Jenner's, man. You know, it, all you homosexuals and transgenders is gonna get destroyed, man. It's gonna destroy you people, man. Wicked, man. All right. 
you know, for wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole whole earth, and her earth and works were fulfilled. And meaning, all prophecies is unfold. Mar uh, Jacob trouble, mark of the beast, and nuclear missile. The silos is coming, man. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. The Wadi Al Bashim Hashem put the spirit upon me to come out here, teach your word, and by giving all praises, honor, and glory to. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahushai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most of whole wealth, and teach well and lead Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching the truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity, and waiting on Yahushai for salvation. Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala. And a Bible ball. Death to America. Shalom, Marky, and stay strong in the spirit. We almost out here with the salvation. Yahushua. Shalom.